Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to uh, have a discussion about a hike I tried back in 2020, I believe it was, right uh, near the beginning of the pandemic. Uh, and I think it was around April, May of 2020, um, I tried to do this hike to Zigzag Ridge. And if you look here on the screen where I'm sharing, you will see Zigzag Ridge is right around this mountain called Capra Peak. And uh, yeah, right on this red dot here on the mountains. And basically, it's in the vicinity. Um, I have other videos talking about Erg Mountain Park, which we hiked there. Um, Ptarmigan Creek is over here. It's a pretty difficult and not very accessible park to get into this one, um, which hopefully we'll look at that in the future. But uh, having driven on Highway 16, um, you'll see the side road here. And I'll just zoom in. I just wanted to zoom out and show the vicinity of Erg and Ptarmigan. Um, and I believe uh, West Twin Park is over here to the right. So just to get your bearings if you know the area. Um, so up here there's this road that goes to the north of Highway 16 and that's called Lou's Road which goes to Crescent Spur. Um, and this is the road that we just drove down a little bit. We parked there and we started our hike. You can kind of see this old logging road on the south side of Highway 16. I'll zoom right in there. So we parked here on Lou's and we started the hike on this road. And I'll show the GPS route, but just to kind of give the high level. Um, so this new trail has basically been developed by a number of uh, gentlemen out of uh, Prince George, Tim Antle, and uh, Travis Stringer. And they've spent a number of years exploring this area and cut out a trail and put some ribbons there. And essentially, uh, this winter, we snowshoed up here onto the ridge, um, somewhere right on the ridge here. And we were able to look down in the valley here and see Snowshoe Lake and uh, Capra Peak and the glaciers and could see right across the valley to the mountains over here on the other side of the Fraser. So quite majestic. So let's just take a quick look here on Google Earth. So you'll see here, the blue is actually the route we took just at the end of February of 2022. And uh, it was a very long, difficult hike, but very much well worth it. You can see we came up here onto the ridge, able to look down on snowshoe lakes. Some of these other tracks are from other people who have explored the area, like I mentioned some of their names. There's more people as well, um, but I don't remember all of their names. But they've all contributed to basically getting an understanding of the area and finding the optimal route to get up here to the ridge. And uh, let's get into some of the statistics. So I did track the uh, hike, and you can see here the color is like a light green. Um, and of course, we parked again on Lou's Road and just started right across the highway. You'll see like a an old logging road and I will link my photo album and the uh, GPS file in the description of this video if you would like to follow along and maybe check it out. But uh, you will see uh, first we kind of hiked up to this small lake here and there's this big giant bowl that you can see from the highway um, and <clears throat> the ascent was about 1335 meters um, max elevation was almost 2100 meters took us eight and a half hours uh, there and back to do the hike in the winter uh, the moving time was six and a half hours so we kind of took breaks for about two hours and at least half of the half an hour was me flying my drone over here around this lake I could not fly my drone on the ridge the wind was too uh, too fast and it would have taken my drone and just flew it off the side of the mountain and I really didn't want to lose my DJI Air 2S. So those are some of the statistics. Um, let's take a look here. Uh, so this is us on Lou's Road. So Highway 16 goes left and right and this is the stop sign looking towards the peak and this bowl is where that lake was and just to the left here there's this ridge and that's where we hiked to. And uh, 
the road literally there the, the trail starts right across the road and kind of just a tiny bit to the right there is where you'll just see a big wide open old logging road and uh, here's a zoomed in picture so we hiked up to this bowl and then kind of up on the side here and then up onto this flat area and then to this part of the ridge here and if I go over a bit more it's a little video there but that's not what I wanted I think so right where that arrow is that's where we went this is highway 16 and then this road goes to Crescent Spur um, and so really um, I would say for the first three kilometers it's a pretty f mostly flat trail you're just kind of walking on, on an old logging road and then maybe up some up and down some hills not really too steep but after the first three kilometers should take you maybe an hour maybe a little bit less you will get right to the bottom of kind of if I try to zoom in on one of these pictures yeah this hill right here you'll get right to the bottom of the hill in about three kilometers and uh, that's when all the hard climbing starts um, and so it took us I think we left at I think it was around 8 in the morning and we got up here to this bowl to the lake there at about 12 so it took about four hours to get up there probably another little bit over hour and 20 minutes to get up to the ridge and then coming down was was much faster maybe three three and a half hours to come down maybe less um, and so that was in the winter time and the hardest part was when we were climbing up here we had to break trail uh, which means you know the snow was packed and the higher we went the more snow there was but really the challenge was kind of right until we got to the lake here a little bit coming up the side of the ridge here it was a little bit deep but then once we got to this open area it's all wind blown it was quite shallow and crusty and you're just tired at that point but you're not fighting deep snow so it's worth going up to the ridge once you get there it is very windy and I know other groups have tried to go up there and they got socked in with uh, fog and other uh, weather conditions so plan your weather appropriately and check your avalanche conditions as well at avalanche.ca we did all that preparation and this is a fantastic hike this hasn't been an official trail but there is a lot of ribbons leading quite a way up this mountain I would say probably three quarters of the trail and after that you'll just have to do route finding but you should prepare to do route finding anyway and one last item to mention as well for zigzag ridge you pretty much have a cell connection for the whole hike because right across the road there's a cell tower and you're able to uh, have that cell connection so I wouldn't fully rely on that of course bring all your emergency gear but this is a really great trail to uh, check out and once you get to the ridge there you'll see I'll uh, put some of my GoPro video clips and pictures in at the end of this video so you can see for yourself but uh, really well worth it and uh, yeah I hope if you have any questions leave comments in the video and I'll see if I can answer them but uh, really recommended hike probably the most hmm, one of the most difficult snowshoes I've ever done um, I did also do Mount Robson in the winter just last weekend and that was a longer hike than this that was like 30 kilometers but this was probably harder in the sense that it worked every fiber of my being uh, because we had to rotate through four of us to break the trail uh, to pack in that snow so anyways uh, hope that helps and I'll put the video clips here at zigzag ridge heading summer up here pretty good conditions out with the boys Let's see what we can do
just head in this way? Yep. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You guys doing all alright? Cool. How's the snowshoeing going? Good. Good so oh, far? Yeah. yeah. Looks like a rabbit or something. Yet. like a road? Nice. Yeah. Hey guys, I want to grab a drink if you don't mind. Look at this. Look at this. Gorgeous. It's actually not that over normal. Oh it is. It's got two meters of snow. In the summer.
first opening. Get a view. Well, I guess we still want to be going that way. Yeah. yeah, like right in this area. Yeah, because it's protected from the wind here, kind of. No, no danger here. And the views, like you can just look across the valley and it's just so nice. I mean, look at that. It's like, I don't know what to say. It's worth it. I'm sure once we get a little higher, we're gonna see it all. Everything and nothing at all Cause I want everything and nothing 
windy is it up here? Sorry guys, I can't fly the drone up here. It's just too windy. We left. Made it here. Highway 16. 